Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of LEGO Mac Design. Today, we'll be discussing mech frames. Mech frames are essential in the construction of a LEGO mech. It's basically the bones of your figure. All the other parts of a mech rest on top of it. It should be flexible and versatile and sturdy enough to keep it all together. If you have a good underlying structure, you'll have a good mech overall and it'll make everything a lot easier. So without further ado, let's begin. When building a LEGO mech frame, I like to separate them into two groups. The first group, a yellow pod, would be all that I consider joints or hinges. Anything that goes in between, you know, T-pieces, rods, stuff like that. In the second group, I have all my limb pieces, what would become the bones in and of themselves. You have one by ones with studs, plates, clips, anything that would help connect all of them together to build a mech. The parts I use most often are the following. All my one by ones, which would be one by one with a hole, one by one with a stud, one by one with two studs, and the one by ones with four studs. Then clips, one by one with a horizontal axis, stud clip, stud clip with a vertical axis, and lamp holders. Then you have these plates with studs on the side, rods, as I said before, and T-pieces, which are the most essential, and it's definitely what I use the most. In the construction phase, what I do is I take these pieces and separate them into modules. These modules can be purposed for various limbs, parts, torsos, anything. And so here I'll show you a couple of examples. The first module uses four pieces, a lamp holder, two vertical axis clips, and a T-piece. I use these everywhere, knees, elbows, you name it. It's pretty useful. The next one is used in places where I need a lot of flexibility. Usually the leg and hip connections, arms, it twists, goes front and back, and it meets all of my needs. And it's always useful because it has a lot of studs on it too, so you can attach a lot of parts. Last one is this generic limb piece. It's basically this long brick with a lot of studs on it, and I usually use it for attaching armor pieces on legs and arms. These are examples of a couple of modules that I use the most. Now go out and build your own mech frame. Again, taking into consideration what we talked about in episode one, what you want to build modifying each module depending on how long or wide you intended your mech to be. Or, if you so desire, I will be creating a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this mech frame, the same one I used in the Eastern Example mech. It will most probably be uploaded in a couple of days, so feel free to click here on the screen or down in the description below. Well, that's all for today's episode. Next time, we'll be talking about armor relationships, all the way from how to make your armor look good, how to make it fit on your mech properly, sorting tips, and other stuff like that. If this interests you, or if it might interest a friend, make sure to like or share. Thanks for watching.